Joe, and on behalf of Josh and, and I, we are pleased to accept this invitation to be on the steering committee for Freedom to Marry Ohio. Um, just in short, you know, I've been in the military for 24 years of my life fighting for everybody else's freedom except my own. I think that um, this past year has been, we've gone through quite a bit, bit of different things, and we decided, Josh and I decided to get married on my leave from Iraq. So we came home, and I was on leave, and we had to leave our home state and drive to Washington, D.C., and ask for a waiver because I, I couldn't do it within the time frame that I had to be, to be home from Iraq. So we asked for the waiver. We, were, we received the waiver. We drove to Washington, D.C. We got married at the, at the grave of Leonard Matlovich, which was one of the first people that ever fought to be in the military to be openly gay. And Josh and I were married, and we came back home, and I went back to Iraq, and then you saw what happened on, on TV because people had threatened to take away my right to be in Iraq. And since I had married Josh, it was a threat to be able to lose my retirement in the military, and I just didn't think that that was right. That's why I asked that question. Josh and I are part of a federal lawsuit now because we think that same-sex couples that are legally married in their states should receive the same benefits as our counterparts that are serving their country just the same way we are. And it just makes complete sense for us, if we're going to fight this nationally, to come back home and fight it here as well. Uh, I'm Joshua Snyder-Hill. I want to thank former Congresswoman uh, Mary Jo Kilroy and everybody for being here. So, um, you know, A, we're of course very excited to be co-chairs uh, on the steering committee. And I want to thank everybody, especially Stephen and any active duty members, as well as, of course, any veterans that are out there. You know. Over a year ago, uh, Stephen had just returned from Iraq, and it's different. It's difficult. But you don't really understand what it's like. Your grandparents tell you fun stories when you're, you know, your kid's sitting on their shoulder, and you can appreciate it. But you kind of hear the stuff that um, is maybe more fun and a little has a little bit more light to glean. The reality is, when somebody's gone for a year and you're talking with them on Skype and multiple times, a mortar goes off, and you have to disconnect. There's a concern, no matter who you are, whether you're straight or gay, if your spouse, family member, a grandpa, a grandma, a kid, the reality is, what's the next call going to be? Is it going to be the Red Cross? Is Skype going to ring back? Is it going to be a family member? And I think the, the hardest thing that I realized, and the reason why we got married when Stephen got back from Iraq on his leave, was I didn't know who was going to call me because... There's, there's, no, there's no way that he could proclaim me as husband. There's nothing he could do. And I didn't know who was going to get, give me the call. I couldn't call anybody to, 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 I don't know, talk about what had happened. I couldn't call his parents and ask them you know, to, to kind of talk me through this because I didn't want to make them aware that he had been cut off by Skype and that the next call that they may get it, it could be the worst news possible. So that's why we did this case. That's why we're fighting um, you know, against the DOD to make sure that LGBT family members and spouses who serve can, can be aware of that. If somebody's at home taking care of the family, taking care of the kids, that they can be assured that they're notified right off the bat and not hearing secondhand and, and having to wait and hear it from somebody else. And it only made sense, obviously. We're here in Ohio. We got married in D.C. because it just felt right to us. But we want our home state to recognize our marriage. That's why we went to the courts to change our names. That's why we refused to lie about it. We said that we knew our marriage wasn't recognized right now but we recognized it, and that's why we wanted to change our names. So this made a lot of sense. It was perfect for us, and, and we're very happy to support this.